Hello, I'm Robert Proudfoot with NASA's Office of Inspector General. In May 2019, NASA announced Artemis program's ambitious goal of returning humans to the moon by 2024. Key to achieving this mission was the completion of the Space Launch System, or SLS, NASA's new two-stage heavy lift rocket that will launch the Orion Crew Vehicle into space. NASA created the SLS program in 2012 to develop the core stage, upper stage, solid boosters, liquid engines, and stage adapters of the SLS rocket. We reported in October 2018 about the SLS program's significant challenges with development of the rocket's core stage. In this follow-on audit, we found that NASA continues to struggle with managing SLS program costs and schedule, as the date for the first integrated SLS and Orion launch, also known as Artemis I, continues to slip. Since its creation, the SLS program has slipped at least two years behind schedule with total program cost through Artemis I launch expected to be at least 60% higher than initial estimates. As of December 2019, NASA has spent almost $15 billion on the SLS program, and this is anticipated to reach over $18 billion if the launch date slips from November 2020 to spring 2021. The primary reasons for the rising costs and schedules are challenges with the program management, technical issues, and contractor performance. As part of our review of SLS program cost reporting, we also found NASA removed almost $1 billion of cost from its Artemis I cost estimate, an action that should have correspondingly reduced the program's reporting baseline. After accounting for this removal, we determined the program already exceeded its baseline cost by 33%, a figure that could reach 43% by the Artemis I launch. Each of the major contracts for the building of the SLS experienced technical challenges, performance issues, and requirements changes that collectively have resulted in $2 billion of cost overruns and at least two years of schedule delays. We made five recommendations to NASA to increase the sustainability, accountability, and transparency of NASA's efforts to manage the major SLS contracts and to achieve its goal of landing astronauts on the moon by 2024. To read the full OIG report, please visit our website at oig.nasa.gov.